What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Engage and today we're going to be going over some Apex Legends Season 2 content including daily challenges and weekly challenges and how they work. Now before we do get into this video, I want to say that I'm going to be uploading a lot more content once Season 2 comes out of Apex Legends, which it is coming out on Tuesday. So make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell icon to get notifications sent to you when I do upload. First things first is we're getting a new way to progress uh, the battle pass in Season 2, and that is stars. Now there are 10 weekly challenges in total for the battle pass uh, before it ends. And six of them will, and six of those weeks will actually grant you an entire battle pass level as a reward. And the rest of the daily and weekly challenges will grant you stars, which are the new way to progress your battle pass level. And it does stack with uh, match XP, which is great. So it's going to be that much quicker to get to max level and not as grindy as season one. So let's go over the daily challenges and how they work. First of all, there's going to be a pool of over 200 or about 200 challenges to get sent to you daily. So at least it'll last a little while before we start seeing duplicates over and over again. But hopefully they'll keep up with it and maybe update the challenges, you know, as time goes on so we don't have to keep repeating the same daily challenges over and over again. Especially if you can like swap out challenges like one challenge per day. And if I didn't say earlier, it's actually three challenges per day. It's not one challenge per day. So it doesn't take 200 days to complete the challenges or go through all the daily challenges. Respawn also gave us a few examples of what daily challenges could be. So for example, they said deal 200 damage in bunker or play one game as lifeline. And the daily challenges are meant to be achievable in a short play session. So you don't have to grind it out. If you complete your daily challenge, you get 3000 stars each. So you can get a total of 9,000 stars by completing all three of the daily challenges. Now, I'm not quite sure how the stars are going to work yet. So I'm not sure how much 9,000 is. It sounds like a lot, but we'll see. Now let's go ahead and move on to the weekly challenges and see how they work. So each week, I assume will be Tuesday because it's coming out Tuesday. You'll receive seven new weekly challenges and these aren't intended to be quick. These are intended to be grindy and take several games to complete. They also gave us a few examples for the weekly challenges as well. It's like get 20 kills as Gibraltar, Bangalore, or Mirage. That seems pretty easy uh, to loot 100 epic items. So that seems pretty cool. And it also says four of the weekly challenges are worth 6,000 stars each so 24,000 total and three of the weekly challenges grant an entire battle pass level upon completion so we're going to be ranking up really quick in the battle pass especially doing challenges and stuff now not only are there daily and weekly challenges you're going to have a weekly resetting challenge so each week you'll have an additional set of three special resetting uh, weekly challenges they're the same every week and refresh even if you don't complete them so for example, complete five daily challenges, it rewards one battle pass level. Or complete ten, uh, 10 daily challenges, it rewards one battle pass level. So they didn't just throw this in there really quick. It seems like a pretty decently structured challenge system, honestly. And uh, it seems pretty cool. They also did mention that um, this season is not going to be based towards hard challenges that are going to require a YouTube tutorial and those are their exact words so don't expect ones where you're going to have to YouTube how to do it it's going to be self-explanatory like I said earlier 200 kills with or 200 damage with this 200 kills with that they basically want you to use different stuff that's not used a lot and not only that they say if you complete 10 daily challenges in a week uh you'll get the rewards for completing the daily challenges of course plus you'll get the rewards for completing five daily challenges because that's a weekly resetting challenge like i talked about earlier and you'll also get the rewards for completing each daily challenge you'll be completing 10 daily challenges getting those rewards and then completing two other challenges in the meantime and they say each completion increases the stars and or match xp required for the next by 9,000 up to a maximum of 54k so it definitely does get complicated it definitely is structured and it's nothing nothing simple I mean it, they put their time into this and tried to make it something so we'll see how it works hopefully it's good but yeah guys that is it for today's video that is how the weekly and daily challenges will work in Apex Legends season 2 so I'm really excited to see how it plays out and I'm really excited that it's not just something they threw together really quick. It seems complex and I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you in season two. I'll be uploading again then. Peace guys.